Yeah, and just a quick introduction. Uh, my name is Sergey Sergeyev. Most of the time I work as SharePoint and Microsoft 365 developer and consultant, also MVP under Office Development uh, category. And in this demo, uh, we are talking about how can you speed up the performance of your Gulp surf command, the command uh, you use uh, during SharePoint framework development. So I'm going to start with just a brand new Hello World web part. So I'm going to run Gulp surf. And this is, by the way, this is my web part. Probably you have seen it many times before. So nothing special here. Let me move this window to the right side and open this one. I'm going to add this web part to the workbench. And now when I change anything here in my code, uh, let's say like this, and when I save, then you see that in the console, the SharePoint framework build pipeline spins up the process of recompiling the code and producing the uh, JavaScript sources out of your TypeScript and uh, styles out from your from your uh, code. So every time I save, it again spin up the same process, and finally, at the very end, it refreshes your browser. So for a very uh, basic Hello World web part, it works quite nice, quite fast. Um, however, the problem becomes evident if you have a large solution or even medium solution with lots of web parts. For example, here, uh, let me go to this tab and run GulpSurf again. And this is the uh, SharePoint framework modern search solution. By the way, very, very great solution if you need uh, modern search in your websites. So here we have, uh, we have six web parts and you see that this uh, gulp, surf, uh, gulp surf command is still executing. So we should wait for a few more seconds until it will be completed. Okay, ready. Now I'm going to add a web part, let's say search verticals. And now I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to, uh, let me move it again to the right side and this one to the left side. And let me open a search verticals container and change anything here, like this one, for example, and click save. And now again, this uh, SharePoint framework build pipeline builds or compiles, let's call it, compiles the project. However, this time it works a lot slower simply because we have six web parts, we have a lot of other uh, code services, providers, etc. That is why uh, only now we have this uh, browser refresh event. So if you take a look at the digits, uh, the numbers uh, here, we, have, we see that uh, TypeScript took seven seconds, then the pack took 11 seconds, so uh, one second here. In total, uh, it took approximately 20 seconds to, to see uh, our changes right after we, we save our uh, source file. So if I, if I did it again, then the whole process starts from the very beginning. So, uh, that's okay. Let's let's wait uh, until it to be finished. So a few more seconds, and finally, our page is refreshed. Yeah. So how can you improve the performance in this case? So you can do that by using SPFX Fast Surf. That's a, a special tool which uh, which increases the speed of this Gulp Surf uh, Surf process. However, to run it, you should execute npm script, uh, npm run serve command. So at the very first step, it executes the same um, bundle process. This is necessary because uh, before running this custom serve command, we need some, uh, some essential objects which come from a default build. That is why, again, let's Let's wait for maybe for 10 more seconds. Yeah, so the pack is finished. And now we have our custom serve command running. Uh, it also takes some time, uh, but fortunately only for the first run. 
So again, it's, uh, I don't know, maybe five, 10 seconds more. Let me close this one. And now it is completed successfully. Let me add uh, again search verticals. So this time, if I modify anything in the source code and click save, then it also compiles the sources. However, this time it works a lot faster. So for, for the first time it was uh, four seconds, but all consequent uh, compiles will be a lot faster. It will be, you see it's, uh, it's less than one second. So, and you, you also can see how fast now uh, the, the, the browser and how fast it refreshes the page when I uh, save anything in the, in the sources. So I click save and then uh, in less than a second, it refreshes uh, the page. So this is how uh, it increases the speed of GulfSurf. But how can you add it to your project, to your solution? That's very simple because everything you need is you need to install SPFX, FastSurf, um, NPM, install SPFX, FastSurf globally. Then when you're ready, simply execute SPFX fast serve command because that's a CLI inside your root SharePoint solution uh, folder like this. And then SPFX fast serve will do everything for you. Basically under the hood, it creates a custom webpack based build, which produces exactly the same output as the default SharePoint framework build. So uh, it also modifies your package and the JSON adds some dependencies. That is why you should run npm install. And when you're ready, you should uh, execute npm run serve in order to use uh, gulp, surf, uh, gulp surf on steroids. So when I run it on the default hello world, sorry, hello world uh, web part, then you see that now if I, uh, change anything here, then the changes will be reflected almost immediately. So it's even, even faster than for Hello World web part. Then how it works under the hood, as I said, it creates a custom webpack based build. Basically it adds this webpack.js file, which contains uh, essential configuration uh, plugins for webpack, etc., etc. Also it spins up a custom dev server. Mm, and this is basically, um, this is how it works. And if you open a package.json, we also have custom serve command which uh, at the first step, it executes our bundle process, and then it spins up the webpack dev server using custom webpack, webpack.js file. Um, if you want uh, to see more documentation, then the documentation is available at uh, GitHub here. And basically, uh, there are a lot of documentation here, FAQs, and if you have any any troubles, please uh, raise an issue, and I will try to uh, to help you to resolve uh, this issue. And additionally, what are other uh, cool features of SPFX Fast Surf is that, and why it is fast? Uh, because all compilation are done in memory, so we do not have any additional uh, steps or additional tasks. Also, it's incremental and compiles only changed files, so not everything. And type checking and linting are asynchronous. So yeah, this is it from my side. Thank you very much. Very cool tool, uh, and I encourage folks, check that out. Uh, that's another great thing to add into your toolbox of SharePoint framework development. Really exciting to see stuff like that uh, coming out of the community, and great work, uh, Sergey, on that. I mean, the, the time savings is really, really impressive. <laughs>